What I do deeply believe is that understanding data leads to better design. And if there's nothing else you guys take away from this talk, this is the most important point. And the reason why I think this is so important is that what we're trying to do as designers is to make a change in the world. When we go and we design a product, at the end of it, we want something to be different. We want people to behave differently. We want them to you know, think about something differently, or we want them to feel something differently. And the way that we know that we're successful means that we have to have something concrete that we can measure ourselves against. We need a way to help hold ourselves accountable. And this is why figuring out how to measure success, whether quantitatively or qualitatively, is a huge part of what it takes to, to design and ultimately achieve our goals. The key, of course, is that we need to actually start with the destination in mind. And one of the things that's hard about data is it feels like there's so much of it. You know? At any given point, there's, there's tons of numbers, there's tons of things we could be measuring. But the way to get started is to actually think, you know, where do I want to go? Before we start on this road trip, what does the destination look like? And so I challenge you guys all, when you start a new design project, to ask yourself this question. In the best version of the world, if the thing that I am designing is wildly successful, you know, beyond anything I could have dreamed of, what is different? What is different about people's behaviors, feelings, actions, emotions? And once we can describe that, and once we can get a very concrete picture of what that looks like, then let's figure out how to map that to something that is measurable and that we can hold ourselves accountable for. 